What's going on guys, Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day. The day has finally come. It's the 7th of May and this is gonna be the last day I'm gonna be in Boston. We are leaving today. The flight is at 7.45 tonight. The time is currently 11 a.m. We spent the whole morning packing. Brittany just left for work. I've got one suitcase here and another one here. My whole life literally lives in these two bags and then obviously Brittany has a bag as well. Now, obviously, because I've been so busy this morning, I haven't had time to eat yet, so we're gonna go get breakfast in about 10 minutes, but first, we need to drop Mila off. Brittany's friend, Alicia, best friend, is gonna be looking after Mila while we're away for the week. Brittany's gonna be gone for the week and then she's going to Greece for like three days just for like a little bit of a vacation. I am gonna be going home for a month. Then while Brittany's in Greece for a few days, I'm gonna be in Amsterdam with Zach, then go back to the UK, be home for about three weeks and then come back to Boston. But she obviously needs a babysitter, so Brittany's good friend, Alicia, is gonna be helping out and looking after her for the duration that we're gone. Hey Mila. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna miss her so much. Are you gonna miss me? You don't even know I'm going. Just finished packing all of her things. We have her like doggy bag. We have a leash, uh, pee pads, treats, her food and everything is in this bag. Then over here, we have this bed that we picked up for her the other day because she constantly like hides under the bed and the sink and all that kind of thing. So we thought if we got her this bed, she'd constantly feel like she was hiding. So that's the method behind that. But yeah, this is pretty much everything that she's gonna be taking with her. Well, it's pretty much everything she owns, but now it's time to give her away. We have to give you away. Come on. <laughs> Oh, oh shit. Hey. Oh my god. She's here. Cutie. You ready? You got her? I was so sad to leave her. Of course I am. I guess it just gave Mila to Alicia and not gonna lie, minorly emotional. I mean, I know she's only been in the family for a month, which is a time that I'm gonna be away for, which is actually a really long time, and I'm allowed to be a little bit emotional. But even still, now let's get some food. When I moved to the US about three months ago, I made a video called My New Addiction. It was like the second video I made here. And it was like a clickbaity video saying that my new addiction was my roommate at the time, now my girlfriend, when it was actually Shake Shack. So right now we're at Shake Shack getting a meal. It's only right to end things where it all began. Have you ever seen a more delicious chicken burger? I think not. How you doing, mate? Brandon. Alright guys, so the time is currently 21 minutes past 12 and we're just on the way to meet Brittany for some lunch. She is finishing work at about 4 o'clock then we're going to finish packing. We want to get there like an hour and a half before the flight. We don't want to be rushed too much and considering it's such a long flight, we want to be prepared. So, we're going to meet for some lunch now. She'll come back and then we'll get sorted. Cool. Awesome man, thanks so much. Don't report me. You don't want to report? No. I oh. just This is our last day. Just a casual afternoon cookie. But a little bit of a time gap to say goodbye to the guy that's been fucking with my hair ever since I've been in Boston. I'm gonna go and clean up the sides a little bit. We're not gonna like, I'm trying to grow it out because I wanna be able to play with it in the future so I don't wanna get too much cut off. But we're gonna clean up the sides so it looks fresh. I wanna go back home. So right now we're gonna say goodbye to Andy and get a little bit of a trip. Seaport Barbers. You good? Yeah, bro. How are you? Roommates are pretty good. And if they're girls, they're even better. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude. I will see you. Hey. Hey. Alright guys, so we just got back from the barbers. Definitely feel a lot more fresh now. The sides are a little bit shorter. Just got changed for the gym. We are now ready for a chest workout and we are repping the new Alpha Elite Cut Off Tee. This bad boy and so many other clothes that you've seen me repping over the past few weeks is dropping this Saturday in four days time. So if you do want to pick this up or any of their new range, you can click the link in my description. It's going to help me out directly. I'm going to even mention it on Instagram as well on the Saturday when it is released. I might be doing a countdown as well just to inform you guys on when it's going to be done. If you do want to help your boy out and you want to pick something up, Shop the link in my description. Now we're gonna eat some sushi. I just had to pick some up. I couldn't leave without picking some of the sushi up from down the road because the sushi place down the road, it's so good. I got the spicy tuna because I'm so basic and this is pretty much the only sushi that I get, but I'm gonna demolish this and then head to the gym. Today is obviously an off day as far as my diet is concerned because it is such a busy day and it's the last day here so I've got so much running around to do. We are coming to the end of my bulk. So I've got Shake Shack for breakfast, sushi for a pre-workout meal. This is a really bad day actually, I'm not gonna lie thinking about it. It's been terrible, but <laughs> I'm gonna eat this right now. Mm. So we just got to the gym, we're about to get into the chest workout. Like I said, I'm training chest and triceps today. We're gonna be fueling the workout with the best energy. It's like a Robinson's water enhancer, like squash, but this is like an energy water enhancer. You just squirt a little bit into your pre-workout drink and it gives you the energy you need to progress through the workout. But we're gonna add some to the pre-workout drink and then get started. Why am I lying for? I'm just gonna squirt it into my mouth. It's actually really good if you just like shot it. You don't have to put it in water if you don't want to, but the link's in the description if you want to pick it up. Oh man, it's quite strong.
beautiful. Stop it. What, what do we say? This is, we're leaving now. Yeah. So I guess we should just say we're leaving. This is the final moment that we're gonna be in the apartment together for the next like, however long it is until I come back, but I will be back. One thing I'm really gonna miss is this view and the sun is just setting on the city. It's beautiful. Yeah, I miss this. Hey. And you walk in. <laughs> Man, that's so dodgy. One person, three members. Normally when they put those big lights on there, you call it. It's 10 o'clock. We're thinking about training legs, but actually we're training arms. All right guys, just got to Prime Fitness now. Prime Fitness, if you remember on my prep videos, that's where I did majority of my prep, like in Prime Fitness, but in Worcester. They actually opened a new gym, their second gym in Redditch, which is really convenient because that's where I'm living now, in Redditch with my dad. Now we've decided between the three of us, my brother is here with us. You've never seen him on the channel before. You may, if he allows me to put him on camera, you may meet him for the first time. We, we all decided we're gonna train arms, basically. Yeah, it's arm day, let's go. We got one more rep, which is probably not ideal considering it's 10 o'clock and I probably shouldn't be having this, but we got half a scoop. We got the best glutamine, best BCAA shredded, all in this shaker. Why the fuck not? Two tries, two buys, two tries, two buys. Weave in between the two. And then don't forget forearms, because I have no forearms, I need to build them, so should do forearms too at some point. I'm gonna guide us through this workout. This is my workout, boys. <laughs> Rope pull downs, like that. And then we're going with some uh, school crushers. Okay. Dumbbell bicep curls with <laughs> superseded with some hammer curls. <laughs> don't get the way. <laughs> <laughs> First impressions of this gym, it's actually pretty good, but I feel like I'm cheating on Elite Fitness just a little bit because that's the gym you only see me train at when I'm home in Redditch. Other than Pure Gym, but that doesn't really count, Prime Fitness is probably going to be one of my new gyms that you see me train at frequently considering. It's not that bad. It's got enough equipment. They've got decent weights and they're quite heavy, so you're probably going to see me here while I'm home more frequently, but we just did tricep extensions. Now we have skull crushes. Easy, come on. That's good ones, you know. Yeah, yeah. Further behind, behind like that. Come on. Easy, come on. Easy. For you, let's go. Get yourself in, boy. It's gonna be a scary one. We're in for a scary ride. Oh, here he is. <laughs> right, from the top, it don't look too. <laughs> it doesn't look too healthy. So the first two bicep exercises are down first. We started off with static hammer curls. They wasn't quite static hammer curls because you're meant to keep a 90 degree on the arm that you aren't working. But we did raise the dumbbell just a little bit for a slight bit of tension. So it kind of was still static hammer curls. And then we moved on to machine bicep curls, which I didn't really like too much. It was kind of a weird machine. It kind of felt like the handle needed to be a bit further out from the body to have a bit more range of motion. Like you, you felt quite constricted and like confined to the machine, which I didn't really like. Probably won't be doing that one again. Now we're moving on to the next two tricep exercises. I don't know why it's called French press. It's just like over the head. It's not very French. I don't know what you define as being like a French press. <laughs> exercise number three is gonna be cable, rope, overhead French press. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like that. oh, that's a fucking thing, mate. I ain't scared. 
If you think one's racking, I'll rack it. Sam with a whole rack. <laughs> Just doesn't <laughs> those <laughs> <laughs> Here they are, boys. You getting all these veins? Yeah. <laughs> Zoom in on them. Zoom in on your veins. Oh, fuck. 11.4, so in a pure muscle. So we have come to the final exercise of this workout. We're gonna be doing straight bar, cable curls, lay down, gonna do a few drop sets, burn out, and then head back. Mate, I'm loving it. <laughs> okay. Woo. I know it looks like I've got no forearms, but it's just because my biceps and my triceps are that big. It makes me look like I don't have forearms, but I actually do. It's the same as my quads. I actually have really small quads. It's just my calves are that small. It makes them look massive, proportions and shit. You should have said your calves are massive. Your quads, but your quads are so big that it makes your calves look small. That's definitely not the case. I definitely have small quads and even smaller calves. Come on, Ryan. You're gonna be small forever. Your sideburns are bigger than your biceps. <laughs> <laughs> mate, we're in. Five minutes, mate. That's all we got, but we're in. Here we go. Right on. Bang on, mate. I was saying to Sam, it would be so nice for a Pepe's right now. And then he goes, we have six minutes till it closes. It's currently like, it's five to 12 right now. And it should to 12 o'clock. So he's like, bro, if we speed up, we might just make it. And here we are. Getting a Casadilio. I'm ready for this, mate. I can't wait. This is like the beginning of the end. I spent so much money in, like, I spent so much money on Pepe's before I left. And now I'm back. Because why would you go home and ch cook chicken and rice when you can come to fucking Pepe's and get beautifully seasoned chicken? You can't make it the same. It just doesn't taste. You can buy the sauce they sell, but it just doesn't taste the same. Mate, that's, that's fat. There we go. Yeah. Yes, mate. Pepe is on deck. Let's go home. We are back at my dad's house. Brittany is just upstairs doing some schoolwork. I'm going to freshen up, chill in, and just like watch a movie. I went shopping earlier and picked up a few bits and bobs. We're going to go like proper shopping tomorrow to like fill up the fridge. But we did pick up some basics earlier on today. We got three packets of Tilda Pure Basmati Rice. We got a packet of ramen. We got 12 big and fresh eggs. Some pasta. We got some pasta sauce. Some special K for just some basic cereal. They didn't have any Rice Krispies, so I was left with this. We got some 5% fat beef mint and some chicken of course obviously as you guys know i've been back in the uk for a day now didn't vlog the first day getting back because we were so tired after traveling for like 13 hours coming home left at eight o'clock traveled all through the night my dad picked us up from the airport at like one o'clock the next day so we completely skipped a day and then we manned the entire day to like sort out our sleeping pattern and this has been the first full day back in the uk and honestly seeing friends seeing family being in my old gym it feels so good to be home like i didn't realize how much i missed it like i'm gonna miss boston and obviously Brittany's just here for the weekend. I'm gonna miss her so much when she's gone, but it just feels really good to be back. I've got so much opportunity here right now. There's been things that have been conjuring up in the UK while I've been away, and I can't wait to show you guys what is going down over the next month in the UK. So it's gonna be really sick to present it to you guys on the vlog and show you my life over the next month. But with that being said, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. If you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. If you haven't already, join the Don Squad. Thank you, Hunter Drake, for being part of the Don Squad. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.